Greetings everybody. I got a box of tools today to showcase feature and yes it is from KTC a uh, name that uh, perhaps many of you are familiar by now uh, if not that's fine uh, KTC is kind of a household name uh, when it comes to tools in Japan at least um, kind of like the craftsman of Japan if I may say so but um, here we have 2.9 kilos worth of tools that I purchased for myself uh, from their website. Uh, the contents is actually Nepros items. So the story is Nepros.com, which is a rather new site uh, for KTC Nepros. Uh, it used to be Nepros.net, but I think they're phasing that out and they are, well, they've already launched nepros.com website so this is a purchase through that uh, nepros.com website but it is shipped in this box uh, which is which is from KTC simply because you are purchasing it directly from KTC themselves which if you don't know already uh, makes the nepros line of tools so yes uh, this is sent to me from or via DHL all the way from Kusegun, Kyoto, Japan. Kusegun is the district uh, which KTC is located, just a wee bit south from Kyoto City itself. So, um, yes, I have not opened this box yet, so this is going to be a viewing pleasure not only for yourself, uh, for my viewers, but also for myself as well. So, let's get on with the ceremonial unboxing. I probably went through a staple there. Oh well, these are snap snap blades, so not too concerned. I might break up this video into one or more parts, depending on whether I need to omit some stuff uh, got some uh, paper packaging here wrapping pardon the noise here all right uh, there we go uh, not too many items but uh, well I haven't seen uh, this type of packaging in a while it's actually been a while, sorry guys, uh, it's been a while since I have purchased Nepros items, so this is kind of uh, interesting for myself because, let's get that box out of the way, rearrange all this stuff here, pardon me for the glare that might be present. So, in a nutshell, that is all of my items. Uh, let me just change the view of the angle of the camera. Okay, so I wanted to save some time from having you guys watch me unpackage each item one by one, but uh, I did save this one as an example. So, as you can see, uh, plastic packaging. Uh, these are... Um, not an add-on done at the retail level. Uh, this is all done at the KTC and uh, sent out to all the uh, retailers in Japan at least. Uh, these are all uh, hung uh, on display racks. I'll insert an image, uh, just an example of you, what you will find if you were to tool shop uh, in Japan. At least for Nepros, this is how they display it. Uh, it gives them an edge, right? Uh, it kind of gives them a high quality look to them. Um, so that works for that. Uh, so yeah, plastic packaging with a paper insert that's recyclable. The uh, plastic, on the other hand, is it, it going to have a unknown. Uh, uh, it's going to be unknown whether that thing's going to be recycled or not. <laughs> so 
a little gripe, I guess. Uh, that's a little side rant on my part uh, is all the additional plastic that uh, you're sending into the landfill. Um, the actual product itself here, we got a 16 millimeter semi-deep uh, 6.38 drive socket. Uh, this is a replacement for a tool that I lost a number of years ago. Uh, yes, uh, tool losses. Uh, I've had one too many. Not a whole lot, but uh, expensive ones at times. <laughs> that 16 mil being an example. Uh, in any case, then moving on to some bigger items here. Uh, let's start with this uh, 16 inch or 400 millimeter long uh, half inch drive breaker bar. Uh, let's take a look at the, the detail or rather the finish. Exquisite uh, finish work. Well, I'm not going to go through an April's video and not talk about the manufacturing that they uh, perform, execute from start to finish. It, it's not just the chrome plating that uh, beautifies a tool. It's all the stuff that beforehand, all the preceding manufacturing stages that are required to create a finish such as this. Simply chrome plating a forged tool uh, would not create a finish like this, a mirror-like finish. Uh, they go through quite a bit of uh, uh, vibratory or tumbler uh, time, time spent in a tumbler, uh, and that requires a trained eye, the right chemicals, the right uh, medium, uh, the right set of eyes, uh, only experienced uh, uh, operators are uh, performing the uh, duties required to manufacture each stage of an Epros Tools uh, production. So from start to finish, they are treated differently um, compared to their standard KTC lineup. Uh, so here is an, another example, a double box zero offset uh, XL length. Here again, this is uh, 16 inch long for a 17, 19 uh, millimeter combination. Let's take a look at the broached end here. Uh, a sign of a well-made tool or a well-designed tool. Um, one being the almost non-existent uh, bevel uh, that does provide a very nice uh, contact against the fastener as opposed to uh, wrenches that may have a very pronounced uh, bevel. Very nice. Uh, almost perfect well perfect I haven't found an imperfection yet <laughs> not that I'm really looking for one but uh, you know from a cursory check I don't see any issues whatsoever very nice uh, something that I've come to expect uh, from buying and working with Nepros tools here is a half inch drive uh, 300 millimeter long or a 12 inch long uh, half inch drive extension uh, nothing really to speak of uh, maybe with the exception of just the overall like it's got a very sleek line if I can say so um, it's not just the straight rod as you can see it's got a nice taper to it next down and then and then it uh, widens a little bit over here on the square end. Um, it's kind of a love at first sight when I first saw these uh, Nepros extensions going back like 13, 14 years ago. Um, 
So I think this would be a better example. It kind of accentuates or, or the curvature is more apparent. So um, moving on to these quarter inch drive uh, extensions. Now, as you can see, this is a this is Nepros's uh, idea or a version of a wobble plus type extension. So, as you can see, compared to some other brands out there, the square portion where you go into the fixed position is very shallow, unlike all the other brands I've seen. Now, something I want to touch on. Um, so this is a, a 25 millimeter length. This is the shortest version probably available um, in the market. Uh, don't hold, nah, I, might not, I might not be uh, accurate on that one, but uh, Snap-on might have one that's 25 mil length as well. Uh, and probably Colkin does too any case, uh, something that nobody else has, and certainly nobody has uh, mentioned about it, including myself, despite ha me having this for many, many years, um, is the fact that on Nepros's Wobble Plus type extensions, uh, as you can see, focus please, uh, you got two balls, two sprung balls. And that is something unique to Nepros. Nobody else, as far as I can tell, has that. Even Nepros doesn't um, display that as a feature on any of their advertisements, which is interesting because I think that is uh, something no noteworthy. Two balls, uh, that probably does add to the cost as well. So I will get into a little bit more detail on what kind of difference that makes. Um, two more sockets here, half inch drive, six point. This one is a 27 mil and this one is a 30 mil. So I've had the 27, I've, I have a 32, but I didn't have the 30. So this was just something as a filler. I don't have any immediate uh, use in mind, but it's good to have than not to have when needed, right? Uh, might be a glorified uh, seal driver. <laughs> uh, who knows? Uh, in any case, the 27 millimeter is a replacement. Um, so, a number of years ago, I was working on uh, crank, torquing down a torque to yield crank pulley bolt on a V8 engine and so I had the socket uh, and a torque multiplier and the torque multiplier against a subframe as a brace and I was uh, doing my thing to torque it down and I had a I had a crack develop uh, I forgot to bring the socket with me on sort of photo it cracked down along vertically on the side here of the socket uh, just adjacent to a corner so basically a stretch stress fracture the socket has been usable <laughs> these years uh, for working on uh, oil filter uh, housing sockets um, but for anything uh, you know meaningful really meaningful you know torquing it down I wouldn't use it anymore for obvious reasons but um, Sorry, my focus is not working very well. But uh, I sent a photo to Nepros uh, at the time to ask them whether it's uh, warrantable. Um, and they sent the photo to their appropriate department. And I got a reply back uh, shortly. And they told me the reason for the uh, fracture was due to the socket not being inserted onto the fastener um, and that was the contributing uh, factor to the fracturing and 
to my amazement, uh, they were bang on. And this is why. Uh, so I had the socket against the um, crank pulley, torque multiplier on the subframe, but I had some hydraulic lines in the way which was pushing against or preventing me from put in, push having the socket fully inserted into that crank pulley bolt. I had to physically put my force, my hand against that uh, torque multiplier against the crank pulley to get full engagement. So somewhere during the process I probably let go of it. The hydraulic lines pushed against the torque multiplier, pushed it away from uh, full engagement and there we go, the rest is history. So that happened and that was the reason why at the time I was looking for a uh, stubby uh, half inch drive extension because uh, Nepros doesn't make uh, semi deep uh, half inch drive sockets so I wanted a short socket so that I wouldn't encounter that in the future and so I was in the search for one and uh, Colkin had this so um, this was my answer to that situation. In any case, uh, that pretty much uh, covers all the new tools that I purchased. Um, but uh, I'm not ready to finish this yet. Uh, I wanted to talk about uh, more on the uh, Wobble Plus type extension. So I know I've made a video uh, not too long ago about uh, uh, Kokens wobble fix extensions. And in general, how I don't really like uh, uh, this type of uh, extension because you want it in the wobble feature, but you invert it inadvertently goes into fixed position and vice versa. Um, but uh, the Nepros ones seem to be better. <laughs> is what I was trying to say. Uh, it, it's, it doesn't go into the fixed position as easily as uh, the other brands, is what I want to say. And getting back onto the double ball, you got uh, two sprung balls which provides uh, more resistance against getting that uh, socket into the fixed position. It requires more force to get it into that fixed position than your typical uh, wobble plus type extension. So uh, here we have a 10 millimeter Nepros uh, corners drive socket, which goes into place. Sorry guys, my focus is really not great today. Um, so it does have this much movement and getting back to touching on a little bit of compatibility uh, issues here we have a uh, Koken Zeal series 10 millimeter and it does not snap into place it's uh, loose it does not go into a fixed position and the range of motion is is quite a bit less compared to the Nepros, as you can see here. There's more movement or angle, range of motion. I'm just going to bring a, a snap on as well, and this one locks in place. And the range of motion is more in line with uh, the Nepros one. And in the lock position, even though I shake it, it stays fixed. Same can't be said for some sockets. Although, of course, that depends on the weight of the socket as well. But anyhow, just a little tool for thought, I guess. Um, here is a Nepros uh, 10 mil deep socket, uh, 12 point, horrible, horrible, 
focus today. <laughs> Anyhow, this is probably getting a little boring now, a little long. Uh, yeah, that is everything. Uh, nice to add on some uh, Nepros items, uh, some brand new ones, some brand new Nepros items. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, I'm going to finish this off right now. Uh, you guys have a good day. See you in a future video.